What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective-C Tutorials Lesson 25 and this lesson we'll be going over C arrays. Now, first off, what exactly is a C array? Well, it's just the array that you use in uh, the programming language of C. Now, um, you can use these arrays in Objective-C, obviously that's why I'm going over them, but um, you probably won't really be needing to use them that much. Um, you'll probably be using array objects for the most part, but they do have useful um, uh, functions and things that you may need uh, to know about them and you may need to use in a program that you're coding in the future and you'll definitely need to know what they are and kind of have a grasp around uh, C arrays when you're looking at Apple documentation. Now the elements of arrays in C and I say elements because they're not objects that you're putting in these array. So the elements are stored in the same way as an NS array but um, they must be of the same type and in an ordered list. And you're probably saying, what exactly are you talking about? Well, um, when you see the code in just a couple seconds, it'll all make sense and you'll really understand it. But anyways, this allows you to add, let's say, five or any number. So in this case, five floats. And it can, of course, be any uh, type that you need. Um, you can add these without declaring five different variables. So let's check out the code here. Um, so what happens is you specify the type and then the name. So in this case, it's a double. We call it Europe Transactions Array. And then the amount of uh, different spots in the array, you put that in brackets and then you close it all off with a semicolon. So in this case, we have two spots in this uh, Transactions Array. And then how do you add values to the different spots in the array? Well, you simply uh, state the name of this array and then uh, you put the placeholder uh, number and remember that you start off with zero not one so um, in this case you would have a uh, place you would uh, have Europe transactions array at placeholder zero and at placeholder one with different values for this uh, array with two placeholders. Just wanted to refresh your mind on that because it was quite a while since we went over that. But anyways, at placeholder zero, uh, I assigned a hundred to it. And um, you just go through and assign uh, the values to it like that. Or you can actually initiate the array and declare all the values all in one step. So, um, uh, you do the declaration just like I did up there at the top and then afterwards you just do equal sign and then embraces separated by commas you just do the values uh, starting at zero uh, the placeholder of zero and going all the way through the end and then you close it all off with a semicolon and you may be saying well that's great and all but how do I really access and use these um, arrays well you uh, access the values and you treat them just like a variable so in this case um, you can see uh, we're using the Europe transactions array at the place holder of zero in this uh, Europe budget change foreign currency method and then down there below we're using it in an NS log so I'm displaying this C array value which is percent dot two F in an NS log and then you just say the or you just say the C array and then the placeholder and then it'll spit out a um, hundred since we put in a hundred for that uh, value but anyways they act a lot like variables um, they should remind you a whole lot about variables but um, if you didn't quite understand anything we're gonna go ahead and jump into Xcode and hopefully work out any little kinks that you may not understand but C arrays aren't really that challenging but um, let's go ahead and jump in and code some okay so here we are in Xcode and we're actually not gonna replace our NS array with this C array that we will be creating we're just gonna create the C array and then output some stuff using um, NS logs and the reason for that is we won't be needing uh, to use this C array in the future I just wanted to go over it because it is good that you understand what a C array is and how it's helpful in programming and different things so anyways first off we're gonna create um, a value for the array and we're gonna set it equal or we're gonna not set it equal but we're gonna sign um, 300 
the double value. And now we're going to create our C array. So double Europe transactions. Or really, I'll just, I was going to call it Europe transactions too, but I'll just call it uh, C array. Very uh, original name. And then you assign um, how many values are going to be in it. In this case, three. And then we're going to go ahead and assign the values directly in the initialization. So the first value value will be 100 separated with a comma, 200. And then the last value will be value for array. So you can actually put in variables uh, in the C arrays. And then we're going to do a little NS logging, as I guess you could call it. I am displaying the first C array value. And then I'll just put the value in parentheses, percent.2f in this NS log. Yeah, and then it's, or it's actually nope, uh, C array. Whoops. C array at the placeholder of zero. End all that with a semicolon and then NS log. I am displaying the second C array value percent dot two F in this NS log. C array placeholder of one and then the last NS log I am displaying the previously created variable then percent dot two F in this NS log and C array and this is at the placeholder of two close that up and now we're all ready to build and run okay so here are the results from the program and here are the results that we care about um this first line here the first uh, C array value 100, the second C array value 200, just like uh, we expected, because those are the first two values that we assigned in the program, and then the previously created variable 300, just like we expected, so everything worked out perfectly fine. Um, and that's C arrays for you. Uh, like I said previously, you really won't need to use C arrays uh, that much, and we won't be using them in our program, but it is nice to... Uh, know what they are and how they work when you're looking at other people's code and uh, Apple documentation and there are uh, times when you do need to use them but uh, like I said in our program at least we won't really be using them but uh, anyways hope you have a good grasp of C arrays like I said they're not too challenging because they're so close uh, to like uh, variables so uh, they're pretty easy to understand. But anyways, uh, that's all for this lesson. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other lessons if you haven't already seen them. And maybe go back and refresh your memory on some of my older lessons. And uh, also be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video real, real soon. Thanks for watching.